Welcome everybody to Crypto Rosetta. My name is Savage and today we're going to be having a look at VeChain. Before we jump into the price action, just want to say thank you for watching. If you are enjoying the content, please smash the like button, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already, turn on those bell notifications so you never miss a video and leave us some feedback down below. So with VeChain, we're still looking for that potential of, you know, forming this bigger ABC pattern to the upside. Alternatively, you know, if we want to be bullish, we could argue this is a one, two. And then we could be looking for, you know, a bigger third wave, but confirmation would only be much higher here at this 0681 region. And, uh, you know, there's a lot of key things that we need to do before we look at that. Um, you know, we need to continue to hold the structure and obey certain rules before we look at those targets. The alternative way that we can treat this move is, um, you know, rather that instead of looking at this as a, um, as an impulsive move to the downside, we could actually just look at this as A, B, and C, in which case we could have the same situation here where we are looking for that possibility of, you know, still having a C wave to the upside, but not looking at it as an impulse. The, the difference within these two counts is basically, if we count this as corrective to the upside, A, B, C here, then it allows for the um, potential of that diagonal option, which we we're talking about apart from further back here. Where this becomes one, two, three, four, and five, and actually looking to take out these lows. So we need to just be aware that this is still on the cards. And um, for as long as we actually remain below this 3387, we need to just be careful of something like this. And this would be looking at this move in this manner, where this is a one, two, looking for that potential of a wave three. So wave three wouldn't be allowed to cross um, this 1473. So what we'd be looking for here, you know, if this is what's playing out is something like this, where we form an A, a B, and then we get a C wave to the downside. If we do cross this 101473, it would invalidate that potential as a diagonal. And then potentially you would have to look at this as something else from further back here as possibly a um a flat correction from, from further back here, where we look at this as A, B, and then a C wave here. So this is still viable and that could still lead to continuation to the downside. So we need to just be aware of that fact. You know, we still have that potential. We do also have potential to push to the upside here. We are starting to form some good structure, but we need to continue to maintain certain key zones for us to look at that. So we're going to go over that bullish um that bullish count now. So that's looking for the C wave target, which could potentially look to take us up towards this 43.16. So I'm going to just turn these um these counts off and we're just going to get involved here with the uh, business end of this move here. And what we're looking for within this structure, basically we were talking about um talking about this potential of, of pushing back up for the C wave here either as a one two and then looking for a third wave up towards this 32.98, or looking for that possibility of just forming an A, B, and a C. So the way this structure is forming here, you know, there's a couple of ways we can potentially count this move. Um, we could we could argue that we have something like this, basically here as a one, two, this is three, four, and five, and then we actually have a completed move, in which case what we'd be expecting is a bigger move to the downside here. And um, this could then look to find support and look to push to the upside. Alternatively, if this is a five wave move up, you know, this could potentially be a completed move here. Even though we haven't achieved this um, this one to one, we have actually come up to this 0.618. So this could technically be a completed move. So what we have to be careful of here is, you know, this move could look to break down. And if we do break down, what we could be looking for rather is, um, you know, the possibility that, we could actually see a, a deeper move here um, where we see something like this play out to the downside, which would be looking at this move as an A, a B, and then potentially a C wave to the downside. So really until we actually break back above this 20, uh, 29, 14 and sort of, you know, get away from this zone, we need to just be on the lookout for that potential of a breakdown. That breakdown could look to take us down as low as this. Um, it depends where we break down from. Obviously, if we pushed up a little bit more, we could look to push this target up. But off of our current zone that we're in here, this would be looking towards that 15, uh, 01514 region. So this is what we need to be careful of on the um, on the bearish scenario here, that if we do face rejection here, we can see we actually came up into that 50% you know, potential double top here as well. So we need to see whether this um, can break back above this zone uh, or whether we actually start to get a bit of a sell off here to the downside looking for these lower targets. So those, that's the bearish um, the bearish case here. So I'm going to just take that off the screen again 
and we're going to just go over um, the bullish scenario here. So if we were looking at this as a bullish scenario and we're not looking at this as just completing here and we're thinking, okay, this is potentially going to continue, either, like I said, we could have this as an additional 1-2 here if we manage to hold this low at this uh, 21.45, which would imply that, you know, potentially we could get up to this 3298 region or alternatively what we could have is something more like this playing out where this is one or a b or actually in this case b one two and then um from this point we could be setting up a series of ones and twos where this becomes one two into here then basically from this point we have another one two and then we're forming another one two here so the key level here is um if we're looking at it in this manner is basically holding this 2365. So that would be if we have already started this next leg, looking for this zone of this 2790. We don't really have a lot of structure to confirm this, and I am a little bit cautious by the look of this move to the downside. It is possible that within this, I'm going to come into the one over here. Um, you know, it is possible within this, this could just be ABC and it's completed. So then we could have the problem is that I do have with this move is the way that we have a bigger wave two here and we don't really have much to match it up with up there. We can argue one, two, three, four, five into here. This is four and this is five. So, you know, it is possible, but this could also just be ABC. So we need to be aware of that fact that if it's just a corrective move up, potentially what we could have instead of the way I'm looking at it here is that we could have all of this as an A wave. This could be a B wave and we could be looking for um, either a C wave to the downside as a flat correction, or this could be W, X, and then Y. If that's the case, if it's a W, X, Y here, you know, potentially it's actually met that one-to-one. -one. So we could actually look to move up from this point, and then rather, instead of looking at this as an additional leg here, you know, this wave two could move, um, could move over here. The key thing here is either way, we still want to start to see impulsive moves to the upside looking to target out the zone of this 2790 for as long as we fail to actually achieve um you know bigger impulsive structure here we need to just be careful of that you know that possible rejection area that we went over for that um continuation if we fail to push up into the zone of this 2790 this move could start to fall apart and like i said you know this could be potentially still within a wave two and what we could be looking for is a potential move down between this 2366 to this 2293. If this is the case, what I would be looking at is the potential that we could have something like this. Um, I'm going to just turn this off. Looking at this move, you know, as a, um, it could actually be from over here, basically a flat correction where we're looking at this as A, B, and then this could be 1, 2, 3, we could actually still be in a fourth wave, but the problem is we've come up quite high here. Uh, it would have been quite a shallow wave too, to be fair. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's coming up quite high. What we have to be cautious of is the fact this could actually just become one, two, and then we look to actually break down. So that's the, that is what we need to be aware of. If we do start to break down here and uh, we push down deeper, I'm just going to throw this on here. And we actually move past this, um, this 02272 region, what we could actually have here is rather that, um, you know, basically we have a move like this as an additional one, two, three, we get a, get a fourth and a fifth, but then we would have an additional fourth and a fifth to add to this, which could actually look to bring us back into this channel. So um, this would take us beyond that zone of the, um, of this box area that we're looking for this 2305 would be what we'd be looking at as an expanded flat typically so if we do look to push down into this zone you know potentially this could actually indicate that rather than looking at it in the way i am here that you know possibly we have set a high here and then we could be looking at a five wave move down where this becomes one two and we fail to take this high again and then we actually look to reject down deeper so this is what we got to be cautious of within the move you know, this is going to be key to see what plays out here, whether we can actually maintain these um these key zones here, or whether we actually start to break down in a bigger way. What we want to see is if this is actually completed. I'm going to just switch back to the um to this count. What we want to see here, if this is an additional one and two here, is really we don't want to go much lower than we've come already. Um, I'm just going to throw this fib on as a support zone. 
we've come down to that 786 ready. So, you know, if we start to break down again here, it becomes less likely. And then, yeah, you know, we're going to be looking towards this low range here of this um, 02366 to this 0293 region. See if we can find support in this area. We've got the golden pocket here at this 2336 um, to this 2327. That could be quite an interesting zone if we do break down in here. Alternatively, if we come deeper, 786 would be a retest of um, of this lower support zone here. So that'll have to hold ready if we're looking for um, you know continuation because the problem is if we start to lose the 786 here, we can see how it starts becoming really close to this um, 2272. And as soon as we cross a 1618, we always have that potential to form a fourth and a fifth wave. Like I said, one, two, three, four, five, then we'd get another fourth and another fifth potentially within the structure if we are reading it like that. So it is possible we could be starting this move to the upside as a one, two, but really we need to get back above these highs. Until we do, we need to be cautious of, of downside. Um, and if this is another one and two in here, basically what we want to see is a nice strong move above this zone of the um, of this 2685 region. And what we'd want to see here is basically a move like this, where this becomes one, two, three. We come back down for a fourth and then we get a fifth. The ideal target we're looking for here is this 02790. So we can see that if we did develop something like this, it would actually bring us up into this area. And we could actually look to take, uh, look to actually, you know, have this impulsive move play out to the upside here. But we do still have that downwards potential. And if BTC and ETH start to correct, you, um, it's going to be quite hard to, you know, potentially maintain this low, in my opinion. And then we could actually be looking for this to break down in a in a much bigger way. So we need to just um, be aware of that. So really this idea of having a 1212 is still valid as long as we hold this um, 2293 range to this 2366. If we want to argue the alternative way of looking at this, that uh, basically this whole move here is potentially another 1-2, what we have to do is we can't lose this low of this 2144 and we'd want to find our support range down here not really losing this 2224 range so that that'll be sort of the the point which we need to start worrying if we break down into this zone if we start to lose this 2224 you know it becomes less likely that we are going to get that um that good structure here for looking for that continuation to that push uh, to push to the upside here so this is going to be a key area if we do look at this move um, in that manner but what we need to be aware of is there is still that bearish potential here like I said you know we, we could see we could see continuation here where we still look to break down one more time so we need to just be careful that we aren't getting something like this as an a b and a c where we actually look to take out these lows so first things first what we want to do is start reaching the impulsive targets here um, this first one would be this 2685 Breaking above that, we'd be then looking for those additional target zones here. You know, looking for that, um, looking for primarily this um, this zone here of this 2790. And then from there, we'd be looking for confirmation. Because what this would do is this would just shift all these counts over. I've just got these here just to get the um, target zones. But basically, these would, so all these moves would be within this yellow third wave. So this yellow third wave. Would basically move up into this point here and then we'd get another fourth and a fifth and then if that has moved up high enough potentially we could look at this as a one two and then looking for that as a bigger move here um, but that confirmation would only really be above this 3298 so really would need to see some extension which can happen and this is why i'm looking at the possibility of having you know this additional one and two structures here um, possibly this could do it but if we fail to hold the zone of this 2365 and this 2240 range this idea of having these one twos um, basically falls apart at that point 
Okay, so I'm going to leave the video there. I hope you found it useful. If you did, please smash that like button. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Turn on those bell notifications so you never miss a video. Leave us some feedback down below. And also in the description, you'll find a link to the Discord. Come check it out. It's free to join. As well as that, you'll find affiliate links for both Prime XBT and Bybit down there. Both great exchanges that we use on a regular basis. If you do not have an account using the affiliate link, it does help support the channel. And we do appreciate it. Everyone have a great day. See you in the next one. Take care.